y'all doing? It's Thirsty Thursday, and I'm in my cowboy hat. Wait, my man, to come in the door and do this with me. Here comes the hugs. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Ride the cowboy. Woohoo, baby. I'm a ride you later. I mean, keep it clean, Lisa. You're looking like a southern belle. Give me a kiss, baby. Southern Belle? I would be looking like a cowgirl. I was a cowgirl. Oh, you was a cowgirl. Oh, out west cowgirl, not a southern belle. Spank him. Woo! Yeah, baby. Woo, she's full of energy tonight. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. It wouldn't be because of the presidential election, would it be? No. No, you just got from your nap. Just got from a nap. Yes, you did. Got a little cocktails, ginger ale. Five cents glass. glass. If you don't believe me, yeah, I am not going to finish this song because it's kiss, a bad one. You kiss my bass. I See? said bass, the fish. The kids did not get that from me when they did shh and it. They did not learn that from me. They didn't learn that from me. Mm -mm. That was from the girls. Because our girls were a couple little bad. This is. Bass, honey, like the fish. Right. Don't swear. I'm not swearing. Did I, did I swear? No. Did I swear? Well, I didn't swear at it all. It could be the intent behind it versus well, the word. But, yeah, we'll say you didn't swear. Anyways, lots of news going on. Lots and lots of news oh, yeah. going on this week. Let's see. Let's see. Where shall we start? Where? Well, where? number one, the election was, when was that, yesterday? I was going to say, ago. let's talk about the elephant that's in everybody's living room. Oh. The election? The election. Yeah, people go out. I mean, we both voted and voted who we voted. We don't disclose who we vote for, anything like that. But wait, it's, some people are just going crazy over this. I voted for Pee Wee Herman. Oh, uh, yeah. That's who I voted for. Yeah, I mean. Just it, kidding. <laughs> no, we both voted and voted who we wanted to vote for, and we hope you did too. And, and however it turned out, we, as Americans, we need to accept that no matter what. We need to, like, bind together and be Americans and yeah. not idiots like some people have been. Yeah, not, like, I be mean, rating people and all these people are saying they're going to move out of the country now. I mean, it's the greatest country in the world as far as I'm concerned. And, I mean, they're just going nuts. And some people are just attack other people. and It's been down to third graders. Did you know that? I was talking to yeah. one of my... um co-workers whose spouses is a third grade teacher and he actually had to break up third graders because the um, Caucasians decided to go to the Hispanic <clears throat> children and tell them to get out of their country. That's messed up. Yeah. That is just wrong. Yeah, that's not right. That is just wrong on every level there is. And then you know we're dealing with that, plus we're dealing with all the crap that's on Facebook. It is ridiculous, people. Yeah. Grow up. Yeah, I know people, at, like at my work, for instance, that were saying that, I mean, they've pretty much just gotten rid of their Facebook or went down to like eight people. I mean, just like their kids, and that's it. Because yeah. they're just so sick of, they did some of this they did it before the election even, because they're just so sick of all of the political crap everywhere. It's like, you it's know? your God-given right to vote how Ever you choose. Yeah. But I think as a free and peaceful country where we pride ourselves in, in the uh, peaceful passing of the presidencies of power, basically, that, I mean, that happens at the high end with the presidents. Why can't it happen with each individual voters towards each other also? Just a peaceful pass over to accept the result. And, you know, if you don't like it, next time there's four more years and we can all vote again, you know? Exactly. I mean, you don't, you have, a, you have a right and you have a right to use yeah. that choice that you ever, whomever you want mm -hmm. to, to vote for. And it shouldn't be, you shouldn't even be littled or berated or made to feel bad or you're stupid or you're an idiot or told to get out of the country or whatever, whatever. It's just sad. It's ridiculous. So Yeah, since we brought politics here, we might as well bring religion. I believe religiously that we need to accept the leaders that are put in power. 
It's not our, I mean, we, we voted, they're in power, they're in power for the reason they are, no matter if, what kind of good or bad power they are, we need to respect the laws of the country yep. and, and accept the way it is now. I'm not saying complacency, like don't, don't fight for the things that you believe, but also at the same time, you got to respect everyone else's belief. So anyway. That's all we want yeah. to really talk about on that. Yeah. We just, just wanted to. Just love, just love people, love everybody. I mean, that's what it comes down to. The greatest of these is love. So just yeah. love. Peace, love, and kindness. That's yes. what we want, you know? That's, that's kind of how we try to build our lives around is to try to be kind to people and um, all the people we don't be kind to is each other because she just beats me all the time. Yeah, yeah. see that? Yep, yep. But no, not really. But seriously, just love each other. That's yep. what we got to say about that. So anyway. Let's see what else. Our sons got in a car accident yesterday. They're mm -hmm. okay. Our little son's truck's probably totaled, but... Mm, I don't know about totaled, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's a nice truck. I mean, it's, it's a, an avalanche. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember the year, so maybe it is if it's older, but... But uh, they're, they're okay. They just, it's more or less, he's with a vehicle right now. And yeah, that sucks. His insurance policy does not have a rental on there, which kind of stinks because our insurance agent, agent, well, get it together, buddy. It's all I'm going to say. Love you. Save money that way, and in, in your insurance as well by not paying it. So, right. who knows? But he's okay. Everyone's okay. Yep, everybody's um, okay. The person in the other car, from what I thought he said, was took away an ambulance. All right. Yeah, she had to go away in the ambulance, but yeah. I think she's okay. That's good. So, yeah, so that was kind of a scary moment for us, but yeah. of course, <laughs> how did you find out about that? Facebook. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about that, kids. Mom doesn't like to find out these kinds of things on Facebook. Yeah, see a picture on Facebook that your car is smashed and you've been in an accident, but it's okay. But 30 other people in the world have read this and responded to it before your parents even know. Exactly. Don't like that, so don't do that to me anymore because it gave me a heart attack. Yeah, that's just not cool, I don't think. But well, whatever. That's the way the generations are nowadays. The younger generations, that's how they communicate. Stuff calling a whole bunch of people that just... Put it out there and see it when you see it. Exactly. I mean, but uh, so yeah, that went on. Um, both been working, of course. Work's been been busy where I'm at, and, and it's been chaotic because we're you know just people off and things like that. It always throws chaos into work. So well, it's been fun. Yeah. Your work's been kind of going good, but you've been tired. And, been tired and yep. I'm going to be going down to 30 hours a week, um, probably starting next week um, because we are doing some medical stuff. Um, I don't yep. want y'all to worry. I just got some tests to be doing. Yep. Um, trying More to figure physical out therapy. Physical and, therapy. Yep. Trying to find out why I'm so tired all the time. So hopefully yep. we will figure this all out. Um, I told her if you live with somebody like me, you're going to be tired. I mean, uh, I'm a lot of work. He's a piece of work, is what he is. Yeah, I mean, if you got to put up with me all every day, you're going to be tired. Every day, all so, the time. God you know, bless him. You guys are lucky. I'm very rarely in videos because if you had to put up with me every day. I wouldn't trade him for a million bucks. Yes, you would. Trust me. If somebody came with her with a million dollars, I'd be out the and door. And decent proposal out there, baby. Yeah, I'd be history. Million dollars she replaced she, she replaced me for a, a three liter of diet coke. Buck fifty. Such a thing. <laughs> yeah. Buck fifty bucks a glass. How's that going? No, no, no. Not teaching you that song. I like songs. I like big bucks, but, and I can't not lie. Hey. Get it nine. How's it go? Come on, baby. I don't know this song. You do too. No, I don't. Okay, and we're not singing. What the hell are we singing this for? Then? I wish I could be a California girl. That just failed miserably. Uh, -ba -da -da -boof. Well, I don't wish I could be a California girl. I like big bucks and I cannot lie. I don't know the rest of the damn song. Other people can't see die. Other people can't see die. 
We got big butts. We just go. We just kind of go, and it goes to the song part. We know. Big butts. He likes big butts. That's why he's marrying me. <laughs> See, I do have a little bit of a filter. A little bit of one. See, on camera, I just did a little bit of a filter. So, high five to that. Yeah, high five. I don't have it very often. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Which song shall we sing? Well, what else is going on this week? Let's see. I'm home alone this week. I'm going away tomorrow. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But first of all, guess what I'm doing tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Ooh, you have I am a going to breakfast. breakfast with Jody Saladino. Yes. My good friend, my buddy, my pal, my one of my BFFs. I love her dearly. Can't yes. wait. She actually has a YouTube channel too. So Jody Saladino. Yes, yes, yes. With a J O D I space S A L I D O. What she said. So anyway, check her out if you haven't already. I'm sure most people are, but yeah, great lady, great, great lady. I love her. I adore her. I think she's the greatest, greatest thing next to sliced bread. Yeah, I haven't met her yet, but I'm, that's I'm, right. You haven't met Jody, have yeah, you? I'm pretty sure. You know, I just say she's a great lady because my wife says she is, but you know, I'm not even really sure. I'm thinking my my wife might be a little in the head and. And possibly, she's just making up that she goes to breakfast with Jody because she she wants to meet a star. Jody, are you listening to this? I hope that you respond. Because, because I, I mean, it could just be a figment of her imagination. She, it's just just a a pretend friend. So she goes out and talks by herself. Hello, Jody. How are you doing? All this that go shopping with Jody. All this stuff. How do I know that's real? How do I... How do Shall I... we mention your pretend toys? What? Floppies. Floppies is real. <laughs> May not be a, a live real, but floppies is real. Trust me. You're going to actually bring that up, huh? You brought it up. You're actually I'm, going to... I am ashamed of floppies. When you're away, I love my stuffed animal floppies. Oh. Who doesn't like to cuddle up to something when your wife isn't around? We had a pillow. I guarantee you, I guarantee you probably 75% of the people out there, if if they have a spouse or a significant other, when I cannot when, believe listen to me, just, did just let me talk. When the significant other is away, and think about this before you respond, does not snuggle up to a, a blanket, a pillow, um, iPad, whatever. I guarantee you, seventy-five percent of these people do do that, and you do the same thing. If I'm away, you you might start up to a pillow or something. So I guarantee you, they do. There, there we go. I just shame. I got no shame in my game, baby. Floppies. And she hates floppies. I don't know why. I can't stand that little. Can't say what I want to say because I. Hey, if you're not around, there you go. I could get a girlfriend instead. Would you rather that? I need a boyfriend. Exactly. No, I wouldn't. Hello, that's why I don't mock. If you had a floppies, you mock me for having a floppies. I'm just in shock that he actually admitted to it. Come out! Of, come out of the closet with the floppies. We've this mentioned is, floppies this before. This is awesome. I can't believe that he just brought up floppies. These people agree with me. How many people think that you think, how many out there think that Mike needs help? Say hi. Mm -hmm. I need help. Church in the head. Well, I am I do need to help as far as being church in the head, but not because of floppies. Floppies keeps me level when you're away. I keep on the good and low. However that phrase goes. So, that being said, what else is going on this week? Oh, you're going, well, we should mention what you're doing. 
I'm going to our daughter Angie's house, and I'm spending some quality time with my daughter. Mm-hmm. And I'm scrapbooking. Well, I'm not really scrapbooking. I'm going to be working on pocket letters and Christmas cards. Yep. You don't want to bring so much stuff. For just a short amount of time. Yeah. If it was a weekend thing, you would probably scrap. I bring everything but the kitchen sink. But I'm only going yep. for like 10 hours, and I don't want to bring all my stuff. So. Yeah, only 10 hours of crafts. She's going to enjoy herself, that's for sure. She'll probably, you know, quite honestly, she'll probably be texting me like every half hour saying how much she misses me, how much she loves me. Ooh, baby, baby, I just can't wait to get home to you. That's probably what she'll be doing. This is where you go, honey. Oh, yeah, honey, that's what I'll be doing to make me feel better instead of being so happy that you are going away. I'm doing the dance because I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> It's like when the kids go back to school. I'm gone like the wind. Gone, oh. bye-bye. See you later, exit that way. Leaving you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, See you later. I know. Love you. I know I'll be very sad when you're gone, baby. I will probably you know I just be sitting here doing nothing. What I was going through, I just can't smile without you. This will be my face when she's gone. Yeah. Dad, I'll have a couple of little tears going by. Do you know what my face is going to look like when I'm gone? You what? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Felicia. Felicia? That's what I'm going to say. Bye, Felicia. See ya. Bye. I'm gone. Like the wind. That must be from a movie or something that I don't know. Oh, I don't know. They say it when they, some, I don't know. I don't even know why they say it, but it's kind of fun to say. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Or do you want to be just a gone, 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 Felicia? Hello. What is wrong with you? There's a lot wrong with me, baby. We ain't got time for that. We can't answer all that. Lord Jesus, help us all. Yep. You don't want to mention Felicia. Bye bye. Got some new tools on here for us, though. Oh, yeah, we got some spoons. I think we should point to a little, little thing. No! Here. They're my toys, not yours. Oh, no, you can play with those. I'll do that. We'll do a little music for these folks here. No. Because we are. They are my toys, not yours. We are music. You want to play with anything? I was going to grab something else. You hear that, baby? Okay, we done. We done. No, bye bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> bye, Felicia. <laughs> Keep it clean, Lisa. Keep it clean. Hard to do sometimes. What's hard? When. Keep it clean, baby, when you're around a man like this. I want a man with a slow hand. I want a lover with an easy touch. I want somebody who will spend some time. I feel like in a heated rush. That's not the All right, do that. Don't ask me. I sang all I knew of it. When it comes to love, I want a slow hand. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've never sippy sip there. Huh? <laughs> so, you're doing that this weekend. Uh huh. That'd be fun for you. Yeah, yeah. I'll be here holding down the house, holding down the fort, as they say. I feel like I'm getting a cold. Tomorrow's cold. Veterans Day. Oh, we should like take a shout out to all our veterans. Let's yeah. see. Let's give them a countdown. Let's see. We're going to give a shout out to my brother, David. Thank you, David, for your yeah. service. My to brother, your brother. Terry. Thank you, Terry, for your service. We yeah. appreciate it. To our daughter, Angie. Thank you for your service. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. We love you, honey. To our son-in-law, Dave. Thank, thank you, Dave, you. for your service. We love you, um, honey, also. Mm-hmm. Who else we got out there? Well, I've, I've got lots of cousins and uncles and all that but uh we should probably give a shout out to um jack yeah 
to my to, to my ex husband Jack. Thank you, Jack, for your service. We appreciate it. Um, yeah. Be nice now. Why? I, I just agreed. What? <laughs> you say thank you to Jack right now. You tell me I have to be nice. Say thank you to Jack. Say thank you, Jack, for your service. <laughs> you said thank you for your service, Jack. And my mind just went somewhere else. Say thank you for your service. Thank you for your military service, Very Jack. Good. Very good. Wow. Just I don't thank you for your service. Really? Thank you for your military service. Michael, really? What? You just dirtied something up. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Apologize, folks. I'm going to beat the hell out of him when we're done videotaping <laughs> this. So if he comes back on here now, black eyed, bloody, and bruised, you'll know why. I got the weekend to, to get rid of the bruises on you. Have a little makeup. So, anyways, who else is there? My father, who's no longer with us. Yes, yeah. he was in Korea. Yes. Yes. Um, we have lots of. I have lots of different relatives, but we're just trying to go close relatives here. Right, just close relatives. Yeah. So, and if you are uh, someone out there that's watching us, uh, that you're a veteran of some sort, we thank you also. We appreciate your service and your dedication country and uh, just thank everyone out there for that that's that's great yep we really are we're not a military family but we are in a way with our daughters and son-in-law so yep we know what it's like when your when your kids go off to war which is, is horrible never yeah. want to live that again yeah it's i mean i know it's necessary um and i appreciate their service, but it does hard as parents when they go off to, to foreign countries to fight a war, and you don't know, you know, if you're going to see them again or come back. So it's yep. tough, but yep, yep. sometimes that's what it takes for freedom that we have, and we yep. just thank you all for that freedom. Yep, absolutely, positively. What else is going on this weekend? I think there. that's it, baby. I think that's it. That's all. I don't think there's anything else going on. Yep. So. All right. Well. Pretty much done. Thank y'all. And uh, very howdy. Howdy. Good and night, you guys. We appreciate all of our old friends and our new ones and the new ones yet to come. Um, we'd like you to like, comment, share, subscribe down below. Remember, Lisa snail mail. And because everybody likes to get something good meal besides a damn bill, I know I do. Amen. Do something good for yourself so that you can do something good for somebody else. And above all else, just be good. Have an awesome weekend. Love you guys. Bye.